There we go. This is what you have to go through to get to those good spots. And why exactly no one does it. Look at all these vines. Lay downs, no path. Look at that. Check that guy out. Whew. All right, y'all. Good morning. Um, we are way off the beaten path this morning. I uh, wanted to come out here and talk about some stuff that, that really helps me out. Um, as far as like getting away from people, finding fish that are untouched, things like that. Um, I'll show you here in a second, but there's one mistake that I feel like bank fishermen make a lot, and that is just going to the easy access areas. And I'm gonna talk about that as the video goes on, just the same places get hit over and over and over again. And I went and fished some of those this morning, and didn't get bit, there's people everywhere. So what I did is I got away from people. Uh, I'm gonna try and get as far away from people as possible. You know, people are creatures of habit. You know, take the path of least resistance and they wanna go right where the, the parking lot is, right down to where, you know, it's just easy to get to. And thing is, everyone's like that. So everyone goes down and fishes those same places. Those places ended up being the, the most pressured places in the creek. So me, I like to do the opposite. I like to get as far away from the parking lot as possible. And that's what we did today. And so we're gonna see if, uh, if it makes a difference for us. I've also got some, uh, got some new jig colors we're gonna try out. Um, if y'all are interested, uh, just shoot me an email or message on Facebook, something like that. Um, I'm sell, I sell these, it's just another way to support the channel. I've got a uh, salt and pepper, I've got like a chartreuse speckle and then I'm not sure what I'm gonna call this one it's just purple and silver with some flakes in it so we're gonna get set up right here and I want to fish right here in front of me I think a lot of these fish right here don't get pressured so hopefully we can start catching some I'm gonna start with uh, this salt and pepper on a 16th ounce jig head this water has uh, cleared up pretty good so I think this is gonna do good at least I hope it does good uh, that's the jig right there so let's drop in and see if we can catch a fish or two all right but right here you can see exactly what I'm talking about everyone's fishing off the same point there are some foot tracks over here but definitely not a lot I don't know if any's gonna be here right now but I sure would think they would At least have a better chance here than over there <laughs> at least the way I think of it just got to find where they're at I think you know what I think I'm gonna stick with the white for now <clears throat> as I look at this water more and more it looks like it's a little murky still Usually these fish are like right out in here somewhere. We're just gonna have to see if they're here today. They might not be, but. Yep, there's one. So they are some here at least. Right kind of where they usually are. There we go. Little fish, but a bad first one. He's close. I'm gonna probably try to keep some here in a bit for, oh, he caught two at a, in a time. I'm gonna try to keep some here in a bit for some guys downstream. This is just real textbook. This, this right here is flowing pretty good and it drops off into this big hole. And this creek's still kind of flowing a little bit muddy. So they, they're on this edge of this clear and muddy water, it seems like. Yeah, there's another one. That's a little better one there. Look at them fight. <laughs> so fun. 
Ooh, that's a female. So you guys, we've got males and females up in the creek already. That's a female, I can tell just because she's fat. Well, that's fun. Not right where they should be. I'm just casting it out there, letting it fall. Sometimes they'll hit it on the fall, but a lot of times it's like once you start working it back. A couple casts with no fish. I got a big area to fish right here too, so just gotta cover water. It's definitely not as good as it usually is. Usually I'm already just wearing them out. Well, maybe they're closer in to shore. They're usually not, but maybe they are today. Yep. <laughs> you just never know. Oh, it was definitely in closer. Interesting. I think they just kind of move around. That's another keeper. There we go, now we're getting on to something. I think that's four keepers. And they're, and they're hitting it on the fall for the most part. And you see, I got three bites in a row right there. And I, it, but there for a little bit, it wasn't, it wasn't getting any bites. I think these fish are just roaming back and forth and you get the school to kind of come back in. They're gonna feed on this little current seam or this little, this water seam. And even though today it's a little slower over here, this is still better than having to fish those same places that everyone else does. The odds are still in your favor a little more. And this is what I do every trip. So if you do that every trip, you get away from the parking lot, then before you know it, the odds are in your favor every single time. That's the way I look at it. Solid. I mean, they're all cookie cutter. Ooh, he made a big kaplunk. They're all solid cookie cutter keepers. I mean, no giants, but just solid keepers if you were going to keep some. I think this dude's going to try and get over here. <laughs> Same spot. It's a little one here, I think. Yeah. A little bitty one. It'll be there one day, though. Healthy fish. Whoops. Sorry, bud. Man, it's pretty muddy over there. Surprised they're getting in there like that, but. I'd be worried about sinking up to my. 
face. There's another one. They're starting to bite a little bit. I think I'm starting to get technique and all that down a little bit more. There we go. That's a short one now. Still pretty fish though. Thank you, sir. Once you get to a certain point, might as well just reel it in. This is fun, y'all. I just enjoy this time of year so much. Just, just no need for electronics or anything. Just, just come out here, read the water, read the conditions, figure out the technique they want. And if you've got, you know, good setup like the Sam's um, and light line, man, these fish pull on this. Makes it so sporty. Four pound line. These fish do not want this moving fast. The current's pushing it through for sure, but it's not moving fast by any means. And you can see, I mean, you can see I'm not reeling it a lot. Just pretty much just picking up the slack. And so, like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do everything I can to get as far away from the parking lot and if i've got to go follow some game trails back into the woods if i've got to hop the creek if i've got to you know get muddy whatever i got to do that's what i'm going to do to get away from the the popular spots and that is the number one tip i can give everyone so you got to fish where those fish aren't aren't pressured it's going to help you out just tremendously these fish over here, I can promise you, haven't haven't seen many lures unless they've been to the other side. Just people are just not gonna go through the trouble to get here like I I will. Such a nice morning. Birds are chirping. It's warming on up, catching a few fish. There's one. That was the furthest one I've caught over this way. Little one. That's a big reason why I don't guide um, from the bank. It's just so difficult. It's just so difficult to get to the places that I catch fish. And it just becomes dangerous after a certain point. Another little one. Still fun though. Thank you, sir. Definitely slower than normal, but still cannot complain. It, uh, it's been cold a little bit the last few days. I don't know if that slowed it down or the flows slowed down, the water levels come down, which could be a combination, honestly. All right, y'all, we're gonna call it on that. Um, hope you all enjoyed, hope you all learned a little something. Um, definitely try to get away from those parking lot areas, y'all. I just cannot stress it enough. Um, people are just so much creatures of habit so give that a shot next time you go to your creek and I bet you're surprised you know I bet you you know can pick up a little fish a little easier fishing those unpressured spots so definitely recommend that um, like I said if you're interested in jigs uh, just let me know shoot me an email and um, or a message and yeah thanks uh thanks everyone for for watching thanks for your support I'm going to be really pushing out videos here, so I hope you all enjoy it. It's springtime, y'all. Fish are biting. So get out there and, and give it a shot.
Thanks so much, y'all. Catch the next one. Y'all take it easy.